And now let's turn to our chief meteorologist, Craig Setzer, and the new rounds of storms that could bring even more flooding. Craig. Yeah, this was our concern. We talked about it earlier that already these grounds are saturated here in Broward, northern Miami-Dade. Flooding exists, so any additional rainfall is going to cause some problems. Guess what? I saw another round of showers and storms come in. Thankfully, it didn't last for more than about an hour, but you can see it there prompting a reissuance of the flash flood warning. Now, a regular just what we call flood warning because of the existing flooding uh, is going to go through tomorrow morning. But the flash flood warnings, that's because there's new storms and the water could potentially rise again. So no flash flood warnings right now. Looking good, just some light rain in Western Broward and some isolated heavy downpours up near Hillsborough and Deerfield Beach. The bigger picture. Still some showers offshore. That activity is coming our way. Some pretty good little bands down in the Upper Keys, also uh, near Card Sound Bridge there. A few little showers uh, moving quickly near the Lower Keys. And we'll have to keep our eyes on this out here near Andros Island. Those will have a tendency to kind of rotate around the circulation of Ada. I'll show you that in a second. That is over north of Cuba. Here's the rainfall amounts we saw today from Tamarack through Sunrise, Davie, uh, anywhere and down to Miami Lakes, anywhere from 8 to 12 inches. 12 to 16 inches in Western Broward. This mainly along and west of the 75 there and a big swath of six to eight inches of rainfall. Now, the, the thing in, in South Florida, this rain and the flooding here has to drain to the ocean, and that's going to take some time. So we're going to be stuck with that uh, flooded situation for a while. Rainfall future forecast, large areas of up to two inches possible, one to two inches possible in the next 24 hours. Could see some heavier amounts and because that could cause some additional flooding. Flood watch now continues through tomorrow evening for all of South Florida. I, I think must say it flood a hundred times or flooding a hundred times when I'm on TV these days. All right, that's not the only thing we're watching out there. We are watching, of course, Tropical Storm Ada getting a little bit stronger this evening. And as long as it's out here over the next few days, our weather is going to stay unsettled and breezy. Have a look at that. Plus, there's now Tropical Storm Theta. That's right, another tropical storm out there. I'll talk about that coming up.